This will be an unboxing video of part number 00005141919. That is basically a Volkswagen sound box. It's basically a subwoofer for um, uh, for a goal for Jetta's from the MK4, I think, up to MK7 um, and other vehicles. Um, this is supposed to fit in the spare tire uh, well. And I don't usually do unboxing videos, but I thought I'd do this because I couldn't find any pictures or video or whatever of this thing anywhere. So disclaimer if the lighting's off or the sound is off or whatever i did the best i could do enjoy the video or not so as you might notice um i already opened this thing up um i couldn't wait to get my grubby hands on it um so yeah this comes in just one box I actually bought this off of eBay, found it at a pretty good price there. The MSRP for this thing from um, dealerships is $660. I managed to find, find it at a steep discount. Um, so if you look hard enough, you might be able to find it at pretty steep discount. Anyway. So what we're looking at here is the contents of the box. This bigger box here basically contains the sound box itself and will have little accessory and wiring stuff in the side box. Okay, so you'll see the original box there. This is the box for the sound box. If the box will cooperate with me. We have a bunch of protective foam and there's the sound box itself. The top, I'll take it out here but we'll see that the top is a shiny uh, plastic finish and this and the rest is all felt. And here it is out of its little bag there. As you can tell, this top finish is really shiny. And then you, see you have everything around is felt. And that's it. This sound box is actually bigger than I thought it would be. Um, it's just kind of going over it with a measuring tape. You'll see that this is about so a little bit under two feet, just one inch under two feet here. So that's, that's quite a bit bigger. Now on the MK6s, my understanding is that this will take the place of your spare tire. Somehow they don't indicate that for the Mark 7s, but I'm not sure how. Um, so the depth of this thing is about a little bit under five inches there, if you can see it. Yeah, a little bit under five inches, four and a half inches. So that's, that's the look of it. It looks really nice. It's too bad it's going to sit underneath the... Yeah, and the trunk and the wheel well and all that. Let's take a look at the other side. And here's the other side. As you can see, the sound box is mostly a sound box. It's empty space probably just to, for reverberation and all that. The main active components are, are two, uh, oh, what's that, like six inch, five inch subs? Not sure actually. I'm also not a sound guy. Yep, six inch subs. Um, so these are the active components, um, two of those. And there's really not much going on down here other than this little space over here. 
And this is where the DSP slash amplifier is going to go. Um, we're going to take a look at that here in a sec. That's packaged up with the rest of the wiring. One other thing that's included is basically an instruction manual on installation. And uh, you can actually find a digital version of this online. Um, as you can see, this is supposed to be installed in the spare tire wheel well. Bunch of wiring diagrams. First part is in German. Z Germans. Eventually you'll get to English. Um, eventually. English on page 33. That's fun. All right, so all that remains is basically this little box that comes in the side. Um, this contains the amp and all the components and wiring and all that that are needed. So if we open this up. See, this doesn't really open up in a really helpful way. So through the magic of filmmaking, I will bring this out in a second. All right, so everything is out. We have some um, what looks like a little spacer, I think. It's just a plastic spacer. Yeah, I think that's a plastic spacer probably to set on the bottom, depending on which, uh, on the bottom of the sub, depending on the installation application. A little two-sided tape, it looks like here. Um, obviously, the wire, the wiring, which is all bundled up together. It's pretty well bundled up. It's kind of like a snake. Um, you've got a bunch of screws, four screws, and a little RJ40, what looks like an RJ45, or no, that's a little. Uh, Ethernet like port. It's not focusing. Anyway, it's like a little Ethernet port with a jumper cable put in. I think this is to be placed in the amp after they program it. Um, they, they need to program the uh, DSP in that thing um, depending on the car that it's being placed in. A bunch of zip ties and of course the amp. So this is a pretty small amp as you can see. Uh, it's not really that big. All comes out one piece. That's mainly a heat sink. As you can tell, tell no features really. You can tell here the where it'll probably be attached to the sub assembly uh, the sound box. Yeah, really, there's nothing going on anywhere except on the back of this thing. We have remote control. I'm not sure what that's what that's for. I think I think basically that's what they use. That's the port they will use to program it, and that um, uh, little jumper is used if there's no remote control quote unquote i'm not sure what that is maybe there's a remote that you can get for different applications uh, there's a system connector now this is probably what's going towards the head unit you got a 20 amp fuse there and you've got the subwoofer output and uh well, it looks like a little status light or something like that. So um, this is supposed to have a five channel amp. This is supposed to be a five channel amp slash DSP. Um, I'm guessing that this, this bus here um, is basically input and output. So input from the head unit and output to the head unit. Um, it sounds from what I read a little bit about this online, is that it's supposed to um, also, this is not supposed to just feed the sub, but also the rest of the base audio system. 
Um, so yeah, that's it. And this, I don't know if I mentioned it, this, um, the whole setup here is manufactured by Helix, which I hadn't heard of before this, but I'll be looking forward to seeing how it sounds. Um, and that's it. Thanks for watching. Leave a comment or don't. If you leave a nasty comment, whatever. Um, thanks a lot.